for eight years. Hello, everyone, and welcome. <clears throat> My name is Marissa, and I am known here on YouTube as the Crafty Heifer. Um, Tonight, we're going to be stitching. Now, with this amount of fabric that I have on this Q-snap, as you can see, it's all tucked back in here. I cannot put this in my stand. So I'm just going to hold this and stitch. So you're going to have to probably keep reminding me to keep it in frame. Because, yeah, I'm real bad about that. And I'm going to have to bring it up sometimes to actually see the holes. Which is why I have the good light on. The, you know, powerful light on. So we're going to be doing this. Now, I am working on still the spooky hollow number one it is the bed and breakfast and it is by little stitch girl so it's that one it's finished now she used um i think weeks dye works maybe floss i'm using dmc so my colors are going to be a little bit different so like my house hers is like more of a tanny color like a beige and mine is definitely more of a silvery white so just so you know, that's why there's some color difference there. But I'm going to be working on this. So I'm going to stop and say hello to everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. We got some stuff to talk about, y'all. So hello, Danielle. Hi, Rivka. Hello, Robert. They're my early birds. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My allergies are kind of crazy right now, too. Hello, Fee. No problem. Work and lurk. Hello, Halloween. Angie, Rebecca, hello, Tabecca. There's Jerry and Robin. Hey, Mickey. Hi, Amanda. There's Purple Rain. Hello. There's Therese. She's waiting, sitting in the car waiting on Teddy. Hello, Liz. Hi, Victoria. There's Odd But Nice. There's Odd But Nice. Get ready because I'm going to be giving you a ton of links tonight. So be prepared. Um, hello, Deborah and Gail. Hello, Salty Witch. Hello, Dawn. Did I get everybody? Deborah. There's Nana. People are still coming in. Hello, Ruby. Welcome, everyone. Hi, Angie. There is Rebecca. She's going to eat dinner and lurk. Okay. So I pulled up um, because Rebecca, if you were in her live just a minute ago, <clears throat> sorry, she was talking about doing her um, 2021 temperature crochet along. Okay. Okay. So I went ahead and pulled up my Pinterest and pulled up some of the stuff that you guys can see on here. I'm going to attempt to share my screen. So you're going to have to let me know if you cannot see what I'm doing. Okay. So give me just a second. And I figured I would pull this up. And y'all are going to see what I see in um, StreamYard for just a second. And we're going to see if it switched over. And I'm looking at mine too, but I'm delayed. There it goes. Okay, so these are some examples of a different temperature cells. So you can see like this one is one where obviously they live somewhere warm because most of the blanket is the yellows and the reds. And you can choose whatever colors that you want. So you don't have to stick with those yellows and the those reds. I'm just going to scroll down here so you can see like this one here they have on their bobbins have written their temperatures so they did theirs in increments of 10 and chose some like purples and some real pretty teals and things like that. Um, it looks like this one over here they did probably in a blue purple color scale and I cannot see chat while I'm doing this you guys so just just so you know. Hey, Crashly. So, Ruby, she's going to start at January 1st. She's going to start doing it. So, you have plenty of time. Um, I really liked this one where they did this really cool toned scale here. Obviously, they live somewhere very cold because they did all the negative temperatures. 
there. So you guys can see Pinterest is a really great spot to go and look and see all the different temperature blankets and see how people have like, you know, they've like coded their colors. I think this one is in um, Celsius for those of you that are in a, not in the U.S. basically. This one right here they've done in Celsius because um, they're in the U.K. But, but yeah, so you can see really cool pretty ideas and they've done squares they've done granny a giant granny square they've done rows so that one's done in squares they've done different patterns all kinds of things so you should be able to find something whether you're a beginner or whether you are a um you know, advanced stitcher. You should be able to find something that you like, um, a pattern and some colors that you like. So I think Rebecca said a uh, size four yarn, which is a worsted weight yarn in other countries. So I have, just pulling off my shelf here, I have this one, which is a big twist yarn. This is a Joann's brand yarn. It is a size four. So what you do is you look on the label and see right there where it has a number four, a medium number four. Let me see if I can adjust this for you. So when you're in the store, every label should have some information on it. So you're going to look and you're going to see this is a size four, number four yarn. It'll tell you a recommended size for your uh, knitting needles and a recommended size for your crochet hook. And it'll tell you how many meters, yards, grams, and ounces. This is, and it'll tell you the makeup of your fabric or your yarn. Now, I'm going to say this as an advanced stitcher who's done a ton of blankets. Make sure that all of your colors come from the same company. So if you get one color in, let's say this big twist, and you get another color in Red Heart, sometimes what you'll find is in between companies, some yarns are thicker than others, even though they're the same size. So this one is also a number four, as you can see right there. But this is a red heart, and the red heart is thicker than this big twist. They play fairly well together, but you can see a difference, okay? And if you get more of than one skein of the same color, make sure you buy it at the same time, because more than likely they're going to be the same dye lot, okay? So same brand for all of your colors and the same dye lot if you can, okay? Yeah, and make sure if you get acrylic, they're all acrylic, or if you get cotton, they're all cotton. Those are going to be things that, that people forget about when you're in the store because you're, over the, you're in there and you're completely overwhelmed and there's so much happening. But those would be my recommendations. And give me a second and I will readjust the focus. Let me find my hole there and I'll readjust the focus on the camera because for some reason this camera is supposed to auto adjust but it does not <laughs> yeah so you guys all came up with like really good suggestions make sure that all that stuff is the same you've got plenty of time exactly so and if you don't want to use number four use whatever you want if you want to use the super bulky if you want to do one of those really cool um arm crocheted blanket things like sharon was doing at the retreat those of you that were there saw that you could do one of those now your blanket's going to be like the size of your living room but that's cool too yeah rebecca said four balls of each color so get all four of them at the same time exactly you know, and you guys, pretty much if you stick with the same brand, like I've had to go back to the store, you know, you're in the middle of a project, we've all done it. You're in the middle of a project and you didn't get enough yarn and you have to go back to the store and get more of that color. I haven't really noticed 99% of the time a difference in the dye lot but it can happen and it has it's only happened to me one time 
to where they were noticeably different because now they've got the chemical dyes. Most of that dyeing is done by a computer. Um, you know, so they do a much better job now than they used to do, but it can still happen. So just be aware of that. And it will tell you on the label as well, while I'm thinking about it, it will give you a dye lot. So super annoying refocus. So if you look right here, it gives you the lot number. So this was dyed on 10 and 6 of 2015. So when I'm looking through the, the bin, I need to look and see, I'll find all the other ones that were dyed on that same date. Cool. So if you have any questions, I do have some videos on my channel with some basic beginner cross stitch tutorials. I know Rebecca watched some of those when she was learning. Um, I watched, I learned from YouTube and I watched Bella Crochet or Bella Coco, excuse me. I watched, um, what is Mikey's channel? You got Crochet Crowd. That's what it is. Um, I watched Mikey on the Crochet Crowd. I watched, there was someone else and I cannot remember who it was at this time. But yeah, there's plenty and plenty, plenty of tutorials. If you don't understand something, call me, contact me, and as soon as I'm able to, I will help you out. And I know several of the other crocheters that also diamond paint would be more than willing to do that as well. Okay, Whoop. hold on. Pattern, yeah, that's right. I've got my pattern propped up in front of me. Okay. Let's go back and see what I missed. Yeah, no problem, Rebecca. It's, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I don't know that I'll stick with it all year because, you know, when summer comes, it's just too hot to even look at. What is the difference between cotton and acrylic yarn? Angie asked. So, Angie, cotton is a completely cotton yarn and acrylic is a completely man-made yarn. So, it's basically a natural fiber versus a man-made fiber. OK, so just like if you have a, a clothes, I'm sure that it's 100 percent cotton and then you've got one that's like a polyester. That's like the difference between the two types of, of materials. You can get wool, you can get cotton, you can get I think they even have silk yarns. I would not suggest that for a blanket. Um, I pretty much go with the big twist. I really do like the big twist because it's soft. Um, I do a lot with the red heart because they have a lot of colors to choose from. <clears throat> so I've used a lot of the red hearts um, for blankets. I like that the red heart is stiff, especially in the blankets that I do. Um, and then it softens up. The more you use it and wash it, it gets softer. So those would be, I would, I am probably going to do mine in acrylic. Doing six months is a good size blanket. Exactly. DK weight would end up as a nice size. Yeah, so DK weight, for those of you who don't know, in the UK and other places, they call it DK weight. Over here, it's basically the baby yarn. It's a little bit smaller. I think it's a size three yarn or a sport weight yarn. They're all kind of the same thing. They're a little bit smaller than a number four yarn is. So it'll be a more lightweight blanket. Uh, Salty Witch was what around $10? Oh, I said beginner cross stitch videos. I meant beginner crochet videos. My apologies. Crystal from Bag a Day Crochet has a lot of crochet tutorials on her channel, I'm being told. Hello, Brian. You just started cross stitch and you're having a heck of a time finding the hole coming back up. Any advice? Um, so what are you stitching on? Let's start there. Because a lot of times you just kind of have to hunt and hunt for it. But you'll get more of a feel for it the more that you do. You'll start being able to kind of feel where, where you need to be. And I also will, what do I have that I can demonstrate this with? Okay. So you're going to get a sneaky peek of some of this fabric that I got. So one of the things that I will do is... 
if this is my material, a lot of times what I'll do, and you'll be able to see this, is I kind of drag my needle across just enough. I'm not pushing it through the hole, but just enough that I can see where the tip is. And that's where I kind of line it up. So that's another little trick that I do is just kind of pull it across and then find the hole that way. So I've been bringing stuff in from outside. There's still stuff in my car from the retreat. I know it's horrible, but it is what it is. Um, and so I brought in some more stuff and I found some more goodies. So Ada, I do that on Ada, Deborah, and that is actually a really easy way to find where your hole is on Ada is by doing it that way. Just kind of lightly drag it across. Hello, Dee Dee, how are you? Haven't seen you in forever and ever and ever. I'm so happy to see you. So we went to the retreat and Miss Doris, who owns the retreat center, used to own the quilt shop in town. And I had been looking for a certain fabric since like August. I'd seen this fabric. So I was finally able to find it in the quilt shop. And it's these little uh, woodsman gnomes. And yes, Rebecca has already seen this fabric. I showed her at the retreat. I absolutely adore this. So this is going to be a project bag. And then I'll think I'll be able to get a um, grime guard out of it as well. It's, I just got two fat quarters. So that's going to be the outside of the project bag. They are adorable, you guys. So, so cute. And then I got this lovely plaid to go on the inside. And this is part of the same line. It's called Timber Nomies, Timber Nomies by Shelly Comiskey for Henry Glass and Company. If you're looking for it, that is the line that it's called, Timber Nomies. So those two are going to go together. And then I was back in the clearance section, shocker, I know. And I also found this, and it's so Texas that I couldn't even, I had to have it. It's got boots and guitars and all kinds of stuff. So I figured this is super cute. I definitely want a bag now. I think this is a full yard. So I should be able to get three bags out of one yard. And then I think I can get one or two grime guards out of it. So you may see this come back. Um, I might do a bag giveaway or sell one or something like that and then i also found my harry potter sorting hat so you guys all saw rebecca made a giant one but brandy mystery of diamonds stitched me this one at the retreat and he's going to go on my harry potter tree a lot of y'all know i have a harry potter tree so you can see his eyes there and then there's his mouth he is adorable See, odd but nice. I told you I was going to be on it. Look at you, girl. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is my sorting hat. And he's going to go on the top of my tree. And I think he is amazing. So, I was super excited to get this. She stitched this up in like three hours, y'all. It was so funny. She was just like over there. Just doo -doo 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 -doo, got it all done. And then I also found at Family Dollar. So, all of my Nomi folks. Heads up, at Family Dollar, I found this guy. He was $5. This is what he looks like. And they also had one, and I think his jacket was red and his hat was gray. And it said Joy on it. He lights up. So you guys will see him in my videos because he's going to go in my backdrop. So if you're a gnome person, Family Dollar for 5 bucks. So cute, right? And I know a lot of people have come in. Let me scroll back through. There's Sharon. Hello. There's Shalene. Hello. I miss people. I miss people. I missed all kinds of people. I said hi to Dee Dee. Hello, Rachel. Welcome. You should be sleeping, but I'm not going to be mad at you because I love that you're here. Um, I'm sorry if I missed anybody else. I do apologize. So, yeah, I would just happen to be like in the family dollar. I needed toilet paper. And I saw him and I was like, well, we're just going to go ahead and put that in my cart because, yeah. Oh, my phone's going to ring. 
Oh, hello, Tia. I did not mean to miss you. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So let's talk about what y'all all want to talk about, I'm sure. And that is our Hamilton, Missouri Lone Star Retreat 2021. We are a little more than halfway full. Now, I've increased the size so that more people have the opportunity to come. And so our maximum number of people that will accept is 45. Anyone after 45 will go on to the wait list. Our facility is amazing. Like, you guys, I found it and fell in love with it. And so if you are wanting to sign up, we are looking at October the 7th through the 10th. And I know several of you are have expressed that you want it earlier in the year. I have reasons that I have it in the fall. Um, one of those is that fall is my favorite season. And I come alive in the fall. And I just absolutely love it. Um, another of that is all of the other things that I've committed to during the year. Fall is pretty much the only time that I can take the time away from work. And the other obligations that I have to have one. So that's why I do mine in the fall. But everyone is welcome. Even if you don't diamond paint. This is an all craft retreat. We have some really cool classes for you guys that will help you with some other crafts. Um, we're going to get some things in there. We've got some sponsors lined up already, which is awesome. And I just think this is going to be a fantastic retreat. Um, all of that information, I did do a video on Monday that I released. And you can go back and watch that. All the information is below. Please do make sure, though, if you sign up, Make sure you fill out the registration form and give your deposit. Don't do just one or the other. And the third step is to join the retreat group on Facebook. And I am sure that Odd is gradually putting all of those links in because she's awesome. So, yeah. So, all of that's going great. Um, like I said, we do have just a little over halfway full. So if you're wanting in and you want to go for sure, you probably need to get that sign in up. Get that sign up in as soon as possible. I'm mixing up my directions there. Okay. And I do believe I am fairly certain all but like two people from this year's retreat will be attending next year's retreat. I have a couple that I'm still waiting on details from, or like confirmations, I should say. Um, so, Victoria, it's going to be in Hamilton, Missouri. That is about an hour north of Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, so I know there will be a group from Texas going. We're going to caravan and carpool together and drive up from Texas. It'll be about nine hours from Dallas for us to drive. I know some of you that is too long in the car and I completely understand that. Yeah, several people are going to be able to go to both retreats. And so, um, you know, just be careful and make sure that you're signing up for the retreat that you're closer to or that you want to attend. Because with two of them out there, I just don't want anybody to get confused. See, you better get on a plane, girl. That can be your American vacation. Yeah, there's a lot of people, you guys, there's a lot of people I've been talking to on here for like two or more years that I'm finally going to get to meet this year. And I am so excited. And then all of the old crew is going to be coming. Or at least most of the old crew is going to be coming. And I'm just so excited. We're going to get everybody there and it is going to be amazing. Hey, Pippa. Now. The news concerning you coming up next is the Elfster Secret Santa gift exchange. So I hosted this last year and it was a huge success. Everybody loved it. We had a lot of fun and we are going to be doing it again this year. Now, I've had it out there for about a month and a half already for signups. Signups end on Saturday, which is Halloween. Okay. 
So you have to sign up if you're wanting to participate. You need to sign up by Saturday because on Sunday, names will be drawn and partners picked. And once that happens, nobody can sign up after that. Um, it is a $30 minimum. Okay. If you cannot spend $30 on your person, please don't sign up because they're going to be spending $30 on theirs. And so everybody needs to be able to be equal in this. This is one of those things that I get real on my soapbox about you guys. Um, on Elster, everybody's made a wish list. If you have not put items on your wish list, make sure that you do so. Make sure also that you have items that are less than $30, you guys. So, because last year, I think I sent, I think I picked like three or four things. I had, I drew um, Odd But Nice's name last year. She was my partner. And so I picked like three or four things off of her list that added up to the amount. So make sure that you're, you've got things on there that people can combine. I've got some higher price stuff. I've got some lower price stuff. Okay. So make sure you give them a good choice. The more stuff that you have on there, the easier it's going to be for your secret Santa to buy for you. Okay. Are there any questions about any of that? Because I'm covering things quickly. So Halloween says it's about 12 hours from her, assuming the border is open. Yeah, so I know borders are still closed. Um, and you know, guys, 12 months is a long time. I am fully aware of that. Um, the problem with that is that with events like this, and especially like the type of spaces that we're looking at, you have to book that stuff so far in advance. Otherwise, the availability is like Thanksgiving weekend and nobody's going to come to a retreat on Thanksgiving weekend. I mean, some of you might, so you don't have to go home to your families, but most people are probably not. So to get good weekends, to get the weekends that you want, you got to book super early. And so that's where, um, that's one of the things that we look at as organizers is trying to do it as far in advance as possible so that we can get our prime weekends. get one more in here so i'm stitching on a 32 count lugana and this lugana is like my new favorite thing ever i am loving it absolutely loving it if you guys don't know what lugana is it's an even weave um those of you that don't cross stitch probably don't care but it is like amazing so freaking amazing the only thing I'm not liking about it is that it's 32 count and I'm blind. You know, so there's that. <laughs> Which is nobody's fault but my own. Granted, they did send me the wrong count. I ordered 28. They sent me 32 and I was not sending it back because it took two months to get. This was back in like the beginning of the quarantine. All right. So let's see here. Rachel, get over here, girl. You can stay with me. I will drive you. Come to Dallas. We'll hang out with everybody. <laughs> Crashly says we'll dig a tunnel for Halloween. Yeah, Melissa Barker is going to be there. She's just, um, I think she's probably about 45 minutes from me over in Fort Worth area. Um, Nana is going to be there. Yeah, pretty much everybody that went last year is going to be there. So it's going to be awesome. Yeah, Sophie also can't get out of her borders. Yeah, Dee Dee, same, same thing. I'm sure your borders are probably closed as well. Halloween's working on teleporting. When you figure that out, let the rest of us know, please, because it would be fantastic. Uh, Diamond Queen, on my channel, Diamond Queen 2020, I don't know if the other one's in here or not. On my channel, there is a video from last year and it's called Elfster Tutorial. Go in and watch that. And then if you still can't get it, let me know. Contact me on Facebook and I'll try to walk you through it, okay? Salty Witch says she loves the baby soft alpaca yarns. Yes. So I'm one of those people, and I'm going to be jumping all over the place, guys. Um, I'm one of those people that I have like, I wouldn't call it a wool allergy, but I definitely have a wool sensitivity. So I don't use any wools um, and I try to stay away from like the alpacas and things like that because 
they just really irritate my skin. Um, and I'll kind of get like with wool, I'll get like red bumps, like a little rash of red bumps. Um, and it could be the type of wool that I've used or different things like that. There's all kinds of different things it could be. But I just tend to stick with a lot of acrylics and a lot of cottons. That's kind of my jam. Um, so Shaleen also loves the even weave. Yeah, so this is the first time I've worked on it. And it's ace. Yes, you will have to set up an account on Elster to be able to join the retreat. Or to join, excuse me, misspeak. You will have to set up an account on Elster to join the gift exchange. Uh, Brian, you can, but they're going to change. I don't think you, they'll even go that far out. They're usually only about six or seven months in advance. Rachel, we could put you in a giant mail, a box and mail you to Missouri. We can still get our packages from China, so it should work right. Yeah, the problem is once you get stuck in customs. And they're like, what is in this giant box with air holes? I don't think it's supposed to be here. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, everybody's going to be there. It'll be fun. Um, the other thing we need to talk about is the DP-a-thon. So... For those of you that are new and don't know what the DPathon is, it is an event that we hold pretty much quarterly. And basically, it is a 36 hour marathon, generally, of creators from different communities on YouTube. Um, I think we've got coloring, diamond painting, cross stitch, different genres like that. Um, and we go live or do a premiere and it's an hour and a half for each person. And then we go on to the next person and it's kind of, it was our, basically it started as our way of doing a virtual weekend long retreat without actually having a retreat. So before the retreats happened, before I did mine last year or well this year, um, this was the way that we kind of did that. So a lot of people will stock up with their snacks and stuff for the weekend and they will sit with us all weekend long. Nana used to be a crazy woman and stayed up for like 48 hours. It was insane. And then we couldn't talk to her for four days because she had to sleep it off. Um, so yeah, so that is what the DPathon is. So we will kick off on Saturday morning and we will go until Sunday evening. I have pretty much all the spots filled. There's a couple of late, late night, early mornings on Sunday that we don't have filled yet. Um, we do have some new creators for you. We have some of your old guys that are always there, that are always supportive um, to hang out with. And it's a good way to find new creators that you haven't watched before, maybe it's a good way to hang out with your friends um, and all of that kind of stuff. So DPathon is going to be next weekend, which is November 7th and 8th. There will be a schedule next week that will be posted once everything is finalized. We will get it posted and put up um, in all the groups so that you're sure to see it. I'm sure several of us will be announcing it on our channels as well. And, um, you know, we just go in, we have a lot of fun. Um, topics can get a little racy, especially late at night or in the middle of the night. Uh, things can happen. So <laughs> just know. <laughs> but for right now, we, I need um, one more creator that has live experience. That is my caveat. You need to have experience doing lives. So if you are available on Saturday morning that weekend, please send me a message, a private message, and let me know when we can talk about it. But I do need one more creator to fill in all of my slots, except for like, I think it's like 4.30 Sunday morning, 
three to like maybe like maybe it's three to like six thirty, something like that. Those are the only slots I don't have filled at the moment. And then that Saturday morning. Oh, I'm sorry, Salty Witch. You know, we're going to do it again next year. So there will be plenty of things. You guys never have to have fear of missing out because there's always going to be something that will come back up. So, yeah. Yeah, so... um. Can y'all hear that dog barking? I apologize if you can. That's the upstairs neighbor's dogs. They're crate training this week. It's been delightful. I hope that you hear all of the sarcasm in my voice when I say that. It has been absolutely delightful. There we go. Hello, dearly. She had some stuff to do, you know, she had some stuff to do. So, um, I think that's all of my news this week. There's quite a lot of it, but I think that is all of my news. So, um, let's go to, because it is 734. Let's go ahead and do Wednesday wins. We have a, quite a few people here. I'm hoping people had a really good week and they have something that they can share with everyone. So again, for those of you that don't know that might be new to my channel, welcome. Everybody's welcome here, as long as you're not a jerk. And we are going to do Wednesday wins. And what those are is this is a way, la la la, try that again. It is a way for us to celebrate with each other and share the joy of all of the good stuff that has happened in the last week, some achievements that we may have met, finishes on our projects, good things that have happened, a way to remind ourselves of how blessed that we are. And I started this at the beginning of the year and it has been awesome to be able to do this with you guys all year long. We're going to keep doing it because I really do enjoy it. So. Wednesday wins. Rachel filled in the retreat form. You guys, I'm going to get to meet Rachel Ray. <laughs> I'm going to hug her so freaking hard. She's going to have bruises. She doesn't even know yet. Because Rachel Ray was my first diamond painting creator. I found her first. So, yeah, she doesn't even know. No idea. Canadian Customs is not allowing U.S. visitors. That, that does not surprise me. I mean, I completely feel like that's valid. Oh, no problem, Pippa. Go put your washing out. I know how that happens. Have a good evening. And I'm going to PM you here probably in the next week or so, Pippa. Uh, so, Salty Witch, you need to talk with Mystery of Diamonds. She's the one that showed us how to do that. And she can direct you to the pattern. I believe the pattern is free but she can direct you to the pattern. <laughs> Do you want to pay for airfare? Well, that's a long drive to not pay for airfare. If you die, it probably will be my fault. I mean, Amanda's got broken ribs. And while it wasn't technically my fault, it kind of was. So yeah, we'll try not to kill you though, Rachel. I will return you to the hubby in one piece. You might be a little traumatized, but you'll be fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right, guys, I'm going to have to plug my phone in. Give me a second. There's the cord. It looks like a big old tangled ball of yarn got loose over here because my cords are everywhere. And see, it turned the light off, all the things. My fellow creators understand the pain. So, yeah. But yeah, Nana is a good bartender, but you better be careful because you get up and you don't realize until you go to stand up that you can't actually stand up anymore is what I've heard. I also might be a little bit heavy-handed with the tequila. 
So <laughs> you might want to make your own drinks, Rachel. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, it's basically a cord yarn ball is exactly what it is. So Brian's Wednesday win is he received his book that J-Rob wrote and finished his Halloween nighttime DP and got his results back and he tested negative for COVID just has a cold. I am so glad to hear that, Brian. That was a good, well, I won't say it was a good week, but those are good Wednesday wins. Let's call it that. I don't know that being sick was probably the best thing. Mine's just allergies, but I get it. Uh, Hallow Queen says she was a tech monkey long before you were a creator. Tangled cords is a workplace hazard. So I don't usually have this lamp on over here, but I've got stuff everywhere. My apartment looks like a disaster zone. So this weekend we're going to be cleaning and doing all of the boring adult things like laundry and grocery shopping and all of that kind of stuff because it needs to be done. All of my new goodies have to find a home somewhere, somewhere in this hot mess of my apartment. So, oh, and that reminds me of goodies, retreat goodies. Those of you that don't know, my sister, Leopard and Lace Boutique here on YouTube, hosted, co-hosted with me at the retreat. Whether she knew she was doing that or not, I can't attest, but that's what had happened. Um she is doing a giveaway on her channel of some of our retreat swag. So if you want some of the stuff that you happen to see, go and check out her retreat video, her last video on her channel, and um, make sure that you leave a comment below so that you can possibly get some of the retreat swag. And I don't know, I don't think it's open internationally right now just because of how everything is going. But she will be the one to ask about that. I may, excuse me, I may be incorrect. So go ahead and check with her on that. But make sure you watch that video. And you too can have Lone Star Retreat Swag 2020. Because as it stands, only 16 people in the entire world have Retreat 2020 Swag. So you could be the 17th. Hey, Elizabeth. Yeah, you, some of y'all put out some really good ideas on the survey. Oh, thank you, Dee Dee. I wish you could come too. Deborah says she has one and a half DPs left to do for Christmas presents. That makes 18 Christmas presents when done. Wow. That is crazy. I'm shocked, Deborah. Way to go, because that is a lot. And if I knew where my cowbell was, finishes usually get a cowbell. But I don't know where it's at at the moment. It's somewhere in one of my tubs. So once I find it, we'll go back to and do the cowbell for you guys. <laughs> Boring adult things on Halloween. Bite your tongue. Well, I mean, it's probably also going to involve eating some candy, but, you know, let's not get crazy around here. Let's see. I'm trying to read off the phone, you guys. There's Brian. Let's see. And Rachel heard we were all fantastic bartenders. Listen, nobody complained. Nobody complained, okay? We were all happy. We were just fine. So Nana says her Wednesday win is she got her Distracted by Diamonds painting. That's Robin over at Distracted by Diamonds. I'm not sure which one Nana got, but the ones that I saw at the retreat, I believe, Liz, were you the one working on the Distracted by Diamonds? I think that's who it was. It was gorgeous. Like, oh my goodness. And I'm not usually one to get real mushy over paintings, you guys, but oh my goodness. Uh, Rivka says her Wednesday win is two things. Her mystery diamond painting from Wolfpack came and her other Wednesday win is that she's enjoying her collab with Mayhem. So yeah, so I can't even go through all the collabs because I don't even know how many there are or who's doing what with whom. So more power to you. 
I have not diamond painted. I don't even know where my pins are. They're probably still in the car. So Angie says she will be redoing her bedroom and putting up her new bed curtains and redo your craft spot in your bedroom. That sounds like fun. And we'll have to have pictures when you're finished, Angie. Oh, Crashly's already challenged Rachel Ray to shots. Crashly, I hate to tell you, but I am like 99% certain Rachel Ray is going to drink you under the table. I'm not throwing down a challenge or anything, but I'm pretty sure she can drink you under the table. She's been drinking with the Irish for quite a few years now. I'm sure she's built up some tolerance. <laughs> Uh-oh. Am I back? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so Diamond Queen 2020 says her Wednesday win is that she got her mystery painting and moved into her apartment finally. Hello Queen says the closest you have to a Wednesday win is getting some of my decorating for Halloween done. This month has sucked. Yeah, so those of you that saw my video on Monday that I put up about all of the announcements, I'm sure you saw my new backdrop. That was part of my Wednesday win was getting all of that bought and set up and I'm happy with it. I think it looks super cute. Fee's Wednesday win is she finished six shifts at work, which is one more than usual. Oh, I know you're tired. I know you are. Catherine McMillan, who is in England, I believe. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Says, hello. Our clocks went back one hour last weekend, so you missed the first 40 minutes. No problem, Catherine. I apologize for that. Our clocks will go back this weekend. So next week, you'll be back on schedule. <laughs> hello, Cheryl and Tippy Joy. Uh, yes, your fish is weird. Like. The, the fish did have a very strange head, Liz, but it was gorgeous. Like that black, that sparkle on those black drills was insane without them being sparklers. I absolutely love it. So Nana says hers is a distracted darling girl. I don't know what that means, but I feel like I should. So I'm going to have to do my research. Rebecca McClellan is, yes, she texted me about this earlier in the week, you guys. And I was so flipping excited because Tabeka is one of the first ones that I was talking to way back when on YouTube. We've been talking for a couple years. Her Wednesday win is that pretty much a life win. After almost six years of trying to get disability, she finally got approved. And I was so ecstatic for her. I'm so exactly. Uh, yes, Crashly, there will be a Hamilton sing-along. Oh, Crashly. Crashly. Go look. On Elster, I posted a Hamilton shirt today, and I think you also are going to need it. So go look on my Elster wish list um, or like in the activity section because I found some Hamilton shirts and they are freaking awesome. Uh, Hello Queen says her Wednesday win is her Diamond Painting Club October box showed up today. I have no idea what that is either. And we're not doing act two. Act two is depressing and I refuse. Act one all the way. <laughs> Hello, Kara. Welcome. Her Wednesday win is that she calmed the parent down today. Listen, I don't know what the parents down in Katie have been doing this week, but they are apparently all in an uproar. It's not even a full moon and the parents are going crazy. So Kara's had a rough week, you guys. Give her a little extra love if you can. Because she definitely needs it. No problem, Rachel. So excited that you're going to be able to come, hopefully. And go get some good sleep. And we will talk more later. And yes, a Hamilton sing-along is absolutely going to happen. And I think I'm almost caught up. I think I'm almost caught up. <laughs> Tia says that. Uh, She's 100,000% 100, sure because Crashly was a lightweight. Crashly was a lightweight. For reals. <laughs> so Odd But Nice said, my win may be your win because it's the cold. I want it to stick. Yeah. So honestly, you guys, 
I think it's like 30 something degrees outside right now and I am loving it so hard. I would probably marry cold weather if I could, but apparently you can't do that. I looked it up. Elizabeth or Liz says that the drills are perfect. They really were. I think she had, she was like three quarters of the way done with her painting that distracted by diamonds one. And she only had like six trash drills from the whole painting, you guys. So check out Distracted by Diamonds because you definitely need to try them out if you haven't already. I'm probably real late to the ball game, but check them out. I was super impressed. I also, okay, no problem, Fee. I will talk to you later, girl. Um, I was also super impressed by the Art Dot canvases. I think that Brandy was the one that had those. And I did like those. And I also really liked, I was kind of shocked, you guys, because I've not done a TSA before. And Billy had a TSA out. Now, it was confetti hell. Like, I'm not even lying to you. I looked at that and almost broke out into hives because there was so much confetti. Because, you know, I don't do the confetti. But the quality of that painting was on point. I really liked it. There will likely be a sing along on Sunday and crash his life. <laughs> Marathon drinking. That's that's great, Rachel. That is exactly what we do. Low and slow. Low and slow. Uh, <laughs> Crashley says, can she just delete everything else on her wish list? So the person is forced to get that for me. I mean, you could. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. But. I saw that and I was like, uh, yeah, this is going on my wish list immediately. And there were some other ones. And check out um, Etsy as well, Crashly. Crashly, oh, Rachel's, we're already trash talking. Crash, you're going to need a stretcher when we're done. Yeah, so Hallow Queen, it is, um, I think today's high was supposed to be 48 in Dallas, Texas. I actually had to, like, put on socks this week, you guys, which, you know, I had to turn the fan off at work. You know, it's getting serious when you got to turn the fan off. Let's see here. I'm still catching up. I thought I was caught up, but I am not. Oh, fee, go do your taxes. Go adult. Can't get distracted by diamonds and Aussie. I'm sorry. I'm sure she'll get there. There's creative mayhem. She had to go pick up the kiddo's car because it was overheating and her kiddo's in college. So she got it dropped at the shop and she's going to need a margarita. Don't we all need a margarita? I'm just saying. Let's see. I think, I think maybe, yes, finally caught up. Um, it's seven degrees Celsius currently. Let's see what that is in freedom units. <laughs> Don't suggest that because some people would probably actually start calling them that. Just saying. No problem, Crashly. Have a good evening. Have good dinner. Um, we only have a few minutes left, you guys. We've got about 10 minutes. And then I believe that Purple Door Crafts, also known as Sherry, will be on. Um, I think I have given you all of the announcements. Don't forget, we are still doing my Saturday morning chat. It's over on Zoom. It is not recorded. It is not put on the internet um, for other people to see. It is literally just a girls and guys get together where we get together on Sunday morning. Some of us are still in bed. She might have been sleeping. I really couldn't tell. But Tia was still in her bed this last Saturday. And it is a come and go as you need to kind of a thing. But we get together. Everybody brings their craft that they're working on. And we just have a good old chit chat. And we can talk about serious things. We can laugh. We can do all of that kind of stuff. So if you're needing some just crafty time with folks. You don't have to be on camera. You can turn your camera off. I do sometimes. Um, you know, and then all we hear is your voice. Everybody is welcome to do that. 
just contact me with your email address um, and I will be happy to add you to that email. It goes out every Friday morning. Well, mostly mornings. I try to get it out before noon. A lot of it just depends on the work day. But I try to send those out on Friday, those invitations uh, to the Zoom call. And then we get on there on Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time and just have a good old gossip. Well, I shouldn't say it like that because we're not really gossiping about everybody. We kind of just talk about life and fun things that we found and all of that kind of stuff. Am I getting it out of frame? I probably am. You still had fun and you still hit up the DAC. Yeah, we take an 11 o'clock break so that everybody can go buy their diamond art clubs. <laughs> it's kind of bad, but... If nothing, we are enablers always. So we have an 11 o'clock DAC break and everybody goes and buys their paintings and it gets really funny because some of them are, you know, I equated it this week to like they're getting their hit. You're kind of all little DAC junkies. And so, yeah, it gets pretty funny sometimes. But everybody is welcome to join us there. Again, same rules apply. Don't be a jerk. And you are welcome. And if you don't want to say much, that's okay too. We have some people that are very quiet. We have some that really like to talk. And it takes all kinds to make the world go round. So, <laughs> Fee says she might be a little tipsy this week. She'll be going to 50th that night. Oh my, oh my. I kind of want to see a tipsy fee. I think that would be fun. Uh, Hello Queen, I'm in the Dallas Metroplex. And I've got several of my buddies that are down here with me as well in Texas. We have lots of Texas folks. It's a very, very large state, which you guys understand in Canada, I'm sure. Make sure I didn't miss anybody, miss anything. Yes, you can lay in bed and chat, Angie, without getting up. You don't actually have to get out of bed to do it. Bras are also optional. Again, you don't have to be on camera. So, you know, it's a come as you are. Do not come naked, though. Don't do it. Just don't. Please. Um, but other than that, it's come as you are and go as you need to. So I, you know, joined in and then I had um, my stitchy meetup here, local stitchy meetup for the East Dallas area had gotten canceled. It was supposed to be the weekend that we went on retreat. Oh, good night, Sharon. I will talk to you soon, hon. Um, and they usually have it the third weekend, which was when we were at the retreat. And they moved it to last weekend and I was already missing my peeps. And like being with people somewhere that wasn't my house. And so Kim asked me and I was like, uh, yes, we're going to Stitchy Meetup. So I left my own <laughs> chit chat and went to Stitchy Meetup. And that is okay. They apparently carried on talking for quite a while and had a grand old time. So. I'm almost done with this second window. This third window is actually going to be really cute. So it's you put the curtains in just like these two windows. And then this spot right here, there's a little ghost peeking out, which I think is going to be super cute. So that's probably what I'm going to probably get this one curtain here done tonight. And then I have stitchy group tomorrow night on Zoom. For Stitch Life magazine, it's one of the cross stitch magazines. It's the newer one. They do have a YouTube channel and they also have a couple of different Facebook groups. They've got one for their Patreons and then they've got one for everyone else. So if you're into cross stitch, that might be something to look at. Now they are not your mama's crochet or cross stitch. So if you're not okay with like subversive type cross stitches, that may not be the group for you. 
but everybody is super sweet and we do a a uh, stitchy meetup on zoom on thursday nights which is why i don't get to go visit wolf pack but that's okay she understands she gets a friday morning replay um so i'm going to try to get this other window that's going to be my goal for tomorrow subversive yes so they are they might have a few cuss words or they might be like unpopular opinions or different things like that they're a little racy sometimes subversive yeah so we're trying to convince dearly that she's gonna have to come on the retreat in missouri did i finish the darker side of magic huh Oh, the book for book club? No, I never started it. I I looked at the thing and I was just like, mm, I don't think this is for me. So I think, I'm not sure what book you guys decided on or we, we missed the meeting on Sunday. So we'll have to see what the next book is. I enjoy coming to book club just to listen to everybody. So whether I read the book or not, I'm going to be there. You know, when I remember it's at 2 and not at 2.30 like I did this week. That was my bad. <laughs> it just turned out like that. Huh? Okay, I'm confused. Anyhow. All right, you guys, it is just about that time. So I am going to start saying my goodbyes. I want to say thank you to everyone that has joined me tonight. We've had more folks here than usual, and I'm so excited to see new people come in. I'm always excited to see my old friends. Um, I want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me and listen to me ramble, basically. Um, it is the highlight of my week. Um, if you have been here, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out. If you are not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you liked what you heard. And please don't forget to ring that cowbell because everybody needs more cowbell in their lives. And until I see you guys next time, happy stitching, happy diamond painting. Bye.